Any word on how this all started? Well, guys, authorities tell me that if they had to guess, they would say an electrical fire, but right now they simply do not know for sure. More than a dozen fire crews from Oakland and Genesee counties fought this fire, and between the old construction materials and architecture, hot weather, and strong winds, they had their work cut out for them. Rolling flames ripped through the historic Holly Hotel in northern Oakland County. The blaze broke out in downtown Holly around 4 p.m. Tuesday damaging a number of buildings constructed roughly 150 years ago. The buildings have been here for a very long time, and we've lived here for a very long time, so to see it go, it, you know, it does, you know, have a little emotion to it because you feel tied to it. Aside from the hotel, the Battle Alley Arcade Antiques Mall and Andy's Place Bar and Grill took on the most damage. Andy Chapin owns the latter. It's a labor of love, and so it's been very difficult watching it kind of disintegrate. Authorities believe the fire likely started in the rear of the Arcade Antiques Mall. The building actually runs to the south and the back end or a storage section of that building ran along Junction Street. There was a power pole there. The power pole was on fire as was the back of that building. I just walked out back to have a cigarette and I said this smells weird and there was a little tiny fire on top of the peak, there was a facade there that fell down. Josh Murray works at the nearby Ironwood Refinery and was one of the first to call 911. It would not take long for that tiny fire to spread and become a big blaze. A handful of Holly police officers evacuated buildings that housed both businesses and apartments, getting several people to safety. Buildings that were not hollowed out by the flames suffered smoke and water damage. Linda Stouffer owns a coffee shop and is one of many business owners that is yet to count her losses. They're all small businesses. They're all run by the owners because, you know, we have few employees. We're not big enough to have tons of employees. They're small businesses. And for a lot of people, this is their livelihood. With a fire like this, it travels from building to building because the fire just spreads so rapidly. And also where you have a building that's connected, you have the possibility of that fire going right across the top of the brick walls and into the next building. Village manager Jerry Walker says two buildings are total losses. This is like every city or village's worst nightmare to have a fire in your historic downtown. So really tragic what happened. Uh, we're thankful uh, that it was limited to just three or four buildings than it was. And you're taking a live look at one of those buildings that Jerry Walker was referring to. This building reduced to rubble because of this fire. It's right next to the historic Holly Hotel. The historic Holly Hotel has caught fire for the third time now. Now, fire investigators from the Oakland County Sheriff's Office, they will be tasked with getting to the bottom of how this started. Business owners and others in this community will be tasked with figuring out how they move forward.